Martian Model Router is a fascinating project. Martian Model Router dynamically routes requests to the best large language model in real time. Martian tool lets you get higher performance and lower costs. It future proofs your application as new models are added. It makes your application more resilient by routing away from models with degraded performance. So in a way, Martian makes your application model agnostic. Then you can focus on building a better product and application instead of finding a better model. These days, whenever someone talks about generative AI based application, then the biggest issue they face is which model to select. Now that is a huge problem because there are thousands of models now there. There are various variants, even within a specific category, you really don't know which model to use because all the models look the same under the hood, even outside of the hood. So if you are start, if you narrow down on one model and then you realize that performance is not the same as before, then it's the exercise becomes very hard to move away from that model. And then you would have to change your application too. This is where Martian helps. If you are using one model, or if you're evaluating one model and if you're not satisfied, you can easily move away from that model with the help of this Martian router and then start using another one. Also, if you use multiple LLMs with this Martian, according to Martian, as you can see on their website, it saves you a lot of cost. Now, this model router, as far as I know, is the first commercial application of large scale AI interpretability. Routing between model is fundamentally about understanding how they work, what makes them succeed or fail. The better that you understand the models, the more effectively you can route between them. To develop the model router, Martian has created a new way of looking at AI interpretability, which has allowed them to be much more deeply understandable how model operate or in other words, model mapping. Now, to route between models effectively, you want to be able to understand what causes them to fail or succeed. Being able to understand these characteristics with model mapping has allowed Martian to determine how well any given model will perform on a request without having to run that model. As a result, they can send that request to the model which will produce the best result. So, and that is the crux of this whole tool. It is going to enable you to select the best model for your job. And that will save you a lot of time and money and headache. One way of getting such an understanding is embedding models into a vector space in a way that preserves the expected performance of that model. This also lets us predict how well a model will do on a prompt without having to run the model. Instead, we can use the tools used to understand embeddings in order to understand these models. And that's just one example, which you can use this model in a way. And there are a lot of other examples and I'll drop the link to their website so that you can read this wealth of information. Having said that, let me give you a walkthrough and then how to use this mod, uh, LLM router or LLM gateway Martian. Go to their website and I'll drop the link in beauty's description. This is simply with martian.com. Sign up with your uh, email. Once you sign up, you'll be presented with this screen. This is the first time I'm logging in. So let's see what it, what it is. It is asking you a few of the personalized question. What exactly you want to do? I just, I'm just curious to learn more at the moment. And this is good to see that we can use this model in the VPC. So mean, it means that it is cloud aware, which is very nice. Continue. I'll just go personal project. I just want to go out with um, a router at the moment. It's already selected. Okay. And then you can also select it from here. And this is, if I just click here, send, you can see the tryout. So on the left hand side, it is router, LLM router, Martian one and open a GPT four on the right hand side. And this is a prompt they have sent in, which looks quite scary. Now Martian has already finished whereas GPT four has taken this much time. Plus the cost is higher as you can see here. 
okay let's continue and then i'm just going to say it personal and create organization now it says upload sample prompt data well i'm not going to do it now so i'm going to skip it and now generate an api key so this is the api key let's save it somewhere i'm going to save it let's go to the next step and this is how you can embed a martian into your code base with just few lines of code let me also copy this so that we will also do it in our code lab or maybe on my local windows system or any linux system let me save this code for the future okay now i am ready to go let's click here and see see installation steps again view complete data and this is listening for our talk so instead of that i'm just going to go with uh, cross here at the top right to see the dashboard i hope so okay it has taken me again here let me give it my password so as i logged back in then it is it has taken me to the screen again anyway i will leave this i'm just going to show you how you can use it so this is a google collab provided by martian itself so uh, first thing we need to do is to fill in some of the open ai keys and also the token which we have just obtained from martian so let me put it there both of these things so i have set my both keys both the um, token or key for api key from martian and also the my open ai key here and you would need a paid one for open ai of course and then in the second step we are going to git clone the repo and then cd to it and then install whatever it's in there and this is a github repo which you can also browse through okay let's go back here let's wait for it to finish so it is still cloning and now it is installing all the requirements of this repo and that is done let's go down this is cool and now we need to uh, running the evaluation so let's first select the evaluation data set so in this one as you can see they are just importing some of the libraries and then they are just using this recommended evaluation list from here and then printing um, from this text so you can also find this uh, full data set on the github repo i just showed you but let me run it from here that is done and you can see it has printed some of this evaluation data set and we have replaced the name in it and now we are going to run it through three models gpt4 3 turbo and martian router and let's see what happens let's run it it is running let's wait for it to finish and this is this is a code which is simply uh, using the oae well function to do uh, the run through gpt 3.5 turbo and then it is storing the result in this eval result similarly we are going to run it with gpt4 as you can see here downwards let me run the gpt4 now and then lastly we are going to run it through martian router and we are appending it to the same uh, data structure when that once that's done we are going to compare them so let's wait for it to finish and next i have run this uh, martian router which has also completed fairly quickly this is good and now let's evaluate the results so there you go so you can see that we have these results here where we have gpt5 3.0 turbo and gpt4 and i can't seem to scroll down maybe i could convert it into an interactive table because I want to see where the router's router has gone. Okay, it's not displaying the router. Let me go up to see if I have missed any steps. Nope. I think I have done all of these. Maybe I'll just run the router one again. Let's wait for it to finish. And the router is also finished. You can see the results here. Now let's run the data frame again there you go this time it has popped it up 
and in this one you can see the accuracy and accuracy seems much better for Martian router and then bootstrapping is also quite good so of course there will be some randomness which is expected on multiple evaluation sets and it will depend on your evaluation sets too and if you want to learn more as they are saying you can go to Martian's website now uh, I probably believe that the real test of these tools and routers or models come when you use them your own data so use it out let me know what do you think and share your experience in the comments and of course if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much